Who's your top five basketball players? Top five. Mike, Shaq, um, um, Kobe, okay, LeBron, Ron Brown. Um, mm, the fifth damn, one is always hard. It, it could be. I mean, it could be a lot of dudes. Um, just who you feeling today? Because you know it's hard to the point five. Westbrook, right. Kyrie, all right. Durant, me, Kobe, LeBron, Tim Duncan, Shaq Emanuel. Remember last week that I said that Kobe Bryant was one of the 10 greatest NBA players ever? Right. You say a lot of things. I want to change that. To what? He's one of the five greatest ever. Wow. Michael's first, Oscar Roberts second. This is just my opinion. Okay. Bill Russell's third. Okay. Will Chamberlain four. And Kobe Bryant's five. Oh, he's better than Larry Bird. Yes. And Magic Johnson. Yes, he is. Okay. Top five players of all time. Mr. Buckets asked me about the top five players. That's pretty. That's tough. Um, I don't like putting guys in there that's still playing because they still got a lot more to prove and a lot more to go. So if I may miss somebody that you that's playing right now, uh, of course, Mr. LeBron James would be a top five player <laughs> when he's done playing. So to exclude him because he's still playing, I would say. Um, Michael Jordan is one. Man. Kobe Bryant is two. Um, Magic Johnson is three. I would go. Man, sometimes. Shaquille O'Neal is four. He's just so dominant. Uh, I'm missing so many great players, so it's hard to say a top five. But I would go. My last one, I'll have to say, I'll have to say Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan, man, one of the greatest to ever touched the floor. No, Michael's one, Oscar mm -hmm. Robinson two, Bill Russell, Wilt, and Kareem. Those are my top five. No, 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 guards, no you said guards, the pecking order. You said guards. he didn't. We're talking about guards. No, 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 no I'm just no, talking about the pecking pecking order. order. Michael's the greatest, in my opinion. Okay. Oscar Robinson, right. Kareem, Wilt, and Bill Russell. Kobe six, LeBron seven, Jerry West. Elgin okay, Taylor. I like okay. your list. Thank I like you. List. I appreciate I that, like Kenny. That list. All right, guys. So I came out after the finals and I said LeBron James is the greatest player to ever play. And I don't know. I don't know if I believe that, but he is great. You know, I think I got a new list. So the um, top five NBA players ever. We got Oscar Robinson. MJ and Kobe, Kyrie Irving, and LeBron James. And I'm going to go ahead and make a future prediction and just say Kyrie's going to be pretty good. All right. My top five. Yes, sir. My top five. Your top well, five. Well, Stephen, this is an emotional choice. Mm. Okay? So there's no analytics associated okay. with it. And as a matter of fact, probably the last 40 years, the last 50 years are not a part of it. Because mm. I made this decision when I was a teenager. Oh. You see? So, okay. So I was 14, 15, and this is what I saw. And I saw Bill Russell. I saw Wilt Chamberlain. Elgin Baylor. Speak up so they can hear you. Elgin Baylor, mm -hmm. who is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Oscar Robertson and Jerry West. Mm. That became my top five as a teenager. And they have remained my top five. I'm here with NBA Hall of Famer Charles Barkley, someone who does not believe that LeBron is one of the three best players <laughs> ever. You're laughing at me, why? I'm laughing at you because, in my opinion, he's one of the 10 greatest ever. Right. I got Michael one, Oscar two, Bill Russell. Oscar Kareem. two? Yeah, he got average a triple-double for the entire season. Yeah, everyone took like 120 shots a game back then. Well, y'all, LeBron average had a triple-double triple double this season. Hey, LeBron had a triple-double and y'all went crazy. He didn't average one for the whole season. You would say y'all, like, yeah. like I'm well, lumped into all these well, people. you millennials. I'll call y'all millennials. I'm not, I'm like 46. Yeah, How am yeah. I a millennial? Y'all just make up names, too. There's no such thing as a millennial. I got Kareem and Wilt. Right. And I got Kobe and Tim Duncan. And LeBron is right there with Magic Bird, Jerry West, and Elgin Baylor. Now, yes. I, this is what I want you to do, man. I want you to rank these three players. Okay. Number one being the best on and so forth. Jordan, LeBron, Kobe. Oh. How do you rank that? Right now, I go Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. Really, though? Yeah. Remember last week that I said that Kobe Bryant was one of the 10 greatest NBA players ever? Right. You say a lot of things. I want to change that. To what? He's one of the five greatest ever. Wow. 
Michael's first, Oscar Roberts second. This is just my opinion. Okay. Bill Russell's third. Okay. Will Chamberlain four, and Kobe Bryant's five. Oh, he's better than Larry Bird. Yes. And Magic Johnson. Yes, he is. Okay. Okay. Now, to hey, get back. Now you trade Steve Nash. He's better than like, Magic Johnson are you, and Larry Bird. Are you he's a better add, player. Yes. Are you, are you going to add anything new to what you've said about they Steve Nash? The, okay. Or is this just going to be. I'm not going. I'm not even going to argue with you on that one because I'm going to get you next. Well, the best player I've played against uh, has to be Michael Jordan. Um, just because of the expectation each night um, that people, you know, I'm going to see Michael, he's going to, what is he going to go for, 40? Is he going to score 50 tonight? Is he going to score 60? And he never let down, you know, those people. He always came and put on a show. And why he was putting on a show is he's one of the hardest guys to guard. You know, he can get to the basket, he can jump over you, he can shoot the jump shot, and, uh, you know, he, he would let you know about it too. So he wasn't a guy who was quiet. He used to talk a, a little trash. And when I say little, that's just putting it nicely. But he, he was the, probably the hardest to guard because he was on stage each night and he brought it. And, uh, you know, you, you look at Kobe Bryant, he's right up there too. He's a guy who uh, performs at a high level each time he takes the floor. And he's a guy that um, is hard to guard. And, for me, it's always, you know, those two are probably, you know, the guys that I've seen the most or guarded the most. Right, you're a historian of the NBA. You're a fan. Fans love to do this. I'm going to put you on the spot. Best three players of all time. Best three players of yeah. all time? Yeah. Uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, wow. Michael Jordan. Wow, this is tough. Michael Jordan. Uh, Dr. J, Larry Bird. That is tough. Can you give me three? I, I know. Oh, my God. Three. Uh, uh, yeah, Larry Bird, Dr. J, Michael Jordan. Because you just got into that Magic Bird thing, which is tough, too. I know. I mean, I, can I get four? Sure. Uh, all right, Magic. You have a magic, magic fourth? Yeah. Well, beyond Bill Russell, because they didn't have a finals MVP when he was winning his 11 championships, Michael Jordan, six titles, six finals MVPs, that means it was all about you each series. You were the mismatch. So I'm going with Michael, Magic, Larry, Kareem, and Hakeem Olajuwon would be in my top five. But then after that, you've got guys like Wilt. LeBron's going to be in there? <laughs> he, he, maybe not. <laughs> Is LeBron going to be top ten for you? I would put Kobe over LeBron in my top 10. If I had to be a top 10, Kobe would be over LeBron. So LeBron can't leapfrog Kobe. Unless he, he, he can't get there even if he wins three more titles? No, no of course if he, if he wins three more. Okay. Certainly. But his one championship, if he wins one championship, to me that counts for two or three in Cleveland just because of the drought and all that. So... He needs to win in Cleveland, and then I'll have to rethink that. But he cannot leapfrog Kobe, in my opinion, on my list. But I would say Kobe is top 10 or 15, yes. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I can't put him in top, top five. But top 10. Top 10. Top 10. 10 to 15. So you still have Wilt. Duncan. Duncan. Yeah, Kobe would Magic. be top ten. Well, Magic is. You have in top five. Loses Michael. He's in top five. Okay. Magic, Michael, Larry, Kareem, and Hakeem Olajuwon. Those are my top five. Bill Russell's got to be in there. Top Bill ten. Bill Russell would be in there. Yeah. Will Chamberlain. Yeah. Yeah, Kobe's in there. Hmm. And LeBron is knocking on the door, but I just can't put LeBron ahead of Kobe just quite yet. There's still a lot to be written in LeBron's book. Well, you know, he's the greatest that's ever played. And he, You really, you, greatest who ever played. Yeah. You, you, you go right there. No, no question about it. And the thing that made Michael wow. so special, he did it on the highest level. When does LeBron enter the best ever conversation? Like the GOAT? The. the. I, I don't think <laughs> he can enter that conversation as being the GOAT. As great as LeBron is, as great as he's been, he will be 
considered one of the greatest players, not the greatest. I mean, that's Michael Jordan. You just he, think it's close. No one will close. ever play basketball as well as that We're man. talking about LeBron. I'm not talking about nobody else. I'm talking, we're talking about specifically LeBron and what he's accomplished up to what Michael Jordan has accomplished. 